Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Sapuan I am from 6th Bank Report That's my class And I will discuss today about uh, Contribution of uh, Tourism contribution to Airline economics So basically there are three points I want to Accept It's about economics, airline and tourism I received uh, several questions uh, Related to this topic About 6 to 7 questions so I will clarify and try uh, the very best to answer all the questions. Okay, for the first question, I just pick randomly. Okay, the first question is going to be: Does the improvement of airport facilities help to increase uh, travel and tour industry? Okay, my answer is yes because it exists a strong casual link between the airport facilities and international tourist arrival with airport facilities significantly driving the path uh, the growth of international tourist arrival this will result and highlight the prominent rule that the quality of air transportation facilities can have on contributing to the growth of the TNT industry in Malaysia okay for the second question the, does the government policies have substantial effect on international tourist arrival into Malaysia okay the government policies can have a substantial effect on international tourists arrival into Malaysia. Both the government expenditure on tourism and the government policies environment had a significant bi-directional association with international tourists arrival at the 1% level of significance. The next answer is, uh, the question is asked, what are the factors that give significant growth of tourism in the world? Okay, and first, uh, the growth in international tourist arrival, the first one and the second one, the consequent growth in tourism revenue. The third one, it's a total contribution to foreign exchange, earning as well as uh, gross output in particular country. For instance, the t, &T industry globally in, 2000, in 2014 generated about 7.6 trillion US dollar, which translates into 10% of GDP. Uh, and 277 billion jobs for the global economy in 2014. Further, the total number of international tourists arrival globally was over 1 billion and tourists. And tourists from emerging economies represented almost half of this international arrival. Okay, it's about to read now. We will proceed with the next question. When does the Malaysia TNT industry has undergone tremendous growth? The TNT industry in Malaysia has undergone tremendous growth and development since 2000. In 2014, it represented about 6% of total indirect employment and about 50% of indirect employment, underlining its importance as a crucial engine and source of growth for the country uh, in terms of its contribution to the output of the economy. The TNT industry indirectly contributed about 6% and indirectly represented over 15% of the Malaysia GDP. Next question, what are some of the other benefits of the country, a certain country, tourism industry to the provincial economy? Okay, for the first one, tourism as an export industry bring in new money uh, to the provincial economy. This new profit are uh, important in generating economic wealth and prosperity in the country. The entire province benefit uh, from tourism as expenditure and jobs created due to tourism spending which are distributed across all regions of the country. Visitors stay in the province uh, on average of uh, 7 to 10 nights and spend their money on a variety of goods and services, uh, many of which are produced locally. Tourism also helps support amenities used by local residents such as restaurants, gas stations, hiking trails, parks, uh, and etc. Those adding to quality of life and attractiveness of the province as a business location. Tourism is a priority sector for partnership and investment by federal partners. Considerable investment has already been made over the past decade and these are additional opportunities to leverage federal funding, support for tourism development and marketing initiatives. Tourism is environmentally sustainable and large a non-consumptive industry. For the next question, what the key policies of Malaysian government has outlined which require investment from both the public and private sector? Okay, in the 10th Malaysian plan, the government has outlined several key policy initiatives that require investment from both the public and private sector. These include, but are not limited to, expanding the presence of promotional activities of tourism Malaysia offices 
uh, the creation of a new tourism cluster for both Eastern and Western Malaysia that seeks to attract visitors to both their heritage and ecological attraction and developing new products such as Malaysia's Malaysia Centre in Kuala Lumpur by Prime Minister, Department of Economic Planning Unit 2010. So this is be the last question. What are some examples of direct tourism tax? So the answer will be just a simple example. I just give you in a point. First, uh, they sell tax, hotel room tax, car rental, airport, and restaurant meal tax, vehicle tax, passenger facility charge, and international departure tax. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you understand what I explained just now, which is about tourism contribution to airline economies. Uh, it maybe can help you uh, to get more understanding about this topic. Okay, time is now about 7.30pm and it's going to be Maghrib prayer and I'm going to perform my solat there.